Good morning everyone. Hope you all doing good. What better way than to start my day filming in London. It's a beautiful day here today. And I'm just gonna be walking around starting from the National History Museum. So this is the National History Museum. As you can see, it's 140 years old. So look, we got some coronavirus testing center here. Morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How Vaccination today, sir. Vaccination? I had it. I had my first one. Uh, I had my first one. No, I mean, would you like to do a test again? When I feel, you know what, I'm walking, vlogging. Yeah. When I, I will do it. I will do it. Why yeah, not? It's free yeah. anyway. Might as well. Of course, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. So you see, look, uh, here in London, they offering us the the, the, the the test for free. You know, just anybody can just walk in, as you just saw. see so many people and cars about really I'm really excited some form of normality you know check out this building oh, wow what's this what's this place here yeah. This is a memorial. Okay, this memorial was placed here by the members of parliament, in both House of Parliament and many other supervisors, in memory of the countless innocent men and women, children from the Soviet Union and other Eastern European states who were imprisoned and died at the hands of the communist, uh, communist government after being repatriated at the conclusion of the second world war may rest in peace amazing what a great fight okay let's push on okay look at this big building here this is victoria and albert museum so this is a huge museum guys As you saw there, that was a good find. Huh? And this is, we are not dead in the center here, you know, but it's still within the touristic area kind of a thing. But this is a bit, a bit, a bit like a couple of miles out of uh, Piccadilly kind of a thing. So soon, soon will be Coming up to Harrods. I don't know if you all know about Harrods, but uh, soon we'll be coming up to it. But before we get there, that's a that's an interesting place. Even I don't know what's this. I think it looks like a church because of the cross at the top. It is a church. This is some of the high-end hotels here and restaurants and spa and, and so on. So as you can see people just chilling now. Six people can meet now outdoors from a different household here so Getting a little bit loud with traffic now. <laughs> okay, 
Okay. We're near Harrods now. There's more people about now. So I might have to put the mask in a minute if it gets too cramped. But as you can see. This is nice bridge. This is the uh, kind of a uh, high-end uh, store, Harrods, the famous Harrods. It's where uh, royalties, Lady Diana's ring was bought by Dodi. Okay, let's uh, go. Obviously everything's still closed, eh, babe? But, but at night, uh, I posted a picture uh, for you guys. At night it's beautiful, it looks like Christmas come early. So yeah, this is it, people, this is it. It's uh, gonna be a nice walk. Princess Court. Look at this uh, sculpture up there. Some coffee shops just open for takeaways. He's getting back to normal in London. Look at the traffic this way. <laughs> right, now we are outside the Lansborough Hotel. And that's there, the Wellington Arch. The famous Wellington. I'll tell you more about it in a second. And this is here, the gates to, uh, this, I believe this is the South Gates to uh, what we would call the uh, Hyde Park and up there is Park Lane and down there Piccadilly Circus and down there where it, uh, it, where it takes you to uh, what was, uh, Buckingham Palace right I'm gonna I'm gonna cross I'm gonna cross to the other side but it's uh, just to give you a, a sight from here you see okay right so that's the Duke of Wellington arch that's what it's called and this arch is to commemorate the uh, the battle. The Duke of Wellington defeated Napoleon in Waterloo battle. That's the Duke up there on a horse. Second Royal Welsh Fusilia. Oh wow, look at this. I remember this is a 49,000. Wow, that's, a, that's another memorial. Russia, Palestine, Central Republic. Wow, that's an awesome find. So yeah, this place has actually a museum inside. 
when it's open you can actually pay some fee something five pound fifty or seven dollars something like that and you can actually go all the way up to the top under the uh, these horses up there you know under that sculpture when it's open and as you can see this this the wellington arch directly in the distance directly in the distance you take that road straight and it takes you from here also to buckingham palace this is another way going to buckingham palace I don't know if I'm walking in the middle of the road, if this meant to be for cars to pass through or bicycles, but I better be careful. <laughs> All these bikes. Look at these huge gates. Cast iron. So there you see. And that's how it looks from this side. look at these I think this is another type of memorial I think this must be okay let's try to find if they write something if there's something written about it but this is because this place is all memorial isn't it so let's see what is this about okay there's something written here okay this memorial is to commemorate the enduring bonds between new zealand and united kingdom oh that's what it is it's a symbol of both of our common heritage actually new zealand district national identity oh that's what it is okay so there Pretty cool, yeah? It's nice. So this this is like this is like a roundabout roads all around it as you can see. Okay everyone. I hope you're enjoying this. And uh, have a beautiful day people. And thank you for visiting my channel from the Duke of Wellington have a nice day guys stay safe stay cool and stay connected